vlog uh yeah it's the uh big bang theory out bts vlog that's the uh full title so sometimes i'll just use bts vlog sometimes i'll use BT btrl otherwise it's basically the uh big bang theory's uh bts vlog uh let me give you a time and date stamp it is now 11 hours and 54 minutes into the day of friday march 11th 2016 and yeah uh, I didn't vlog yesterday I, I had one of those down days yesterday uh, that happens uh, uh, every once in a while after I do the food shop and uh, my body just kind of craps out and <sighs> things uh, don't go so well so th there's kind of a there was kind of a mix up in vlogging and didn't get the work done. Uh, but I did get other things done. I did a lot of administrative work. I got, you know, enough of that done. And uh, there's enough progress that uh, I'm, you know, really happy with, uh, with the pro progress that's being made. So, yay for that. And uh, what I mean by pro even with the progress here, we're now uh, the second... Uh, every time this clip, cl this clip fills up, the, the chip fills up. Uh... No, uh, there's a chip in the camera there. Every time the uh, micro SD chip fills up, uh, I offload it onto the computer, to the editing bay, and go through and process it. So uh, the second batch, the second batch has just gone into the computer. Uh, I'll begin editing it today, and uh, we're 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 right on schedule. You know, we're, I'm I'm basically uploading uh, a video every other day. So in other words. Uh, the episodes are, are on an every other day basis, so uh, that's and I'm I'm having enough. I'm uh, not enough in one day, but enough with with one or two days put together that uh, it's producing a half decent vlog. Uh, I go around, I look at other vloggers, see what they're doing, what how they put their their uh, shows together, and I think a half hour clip is is where to go. Uh, it's between twenty five and, tw and and thirty minutes each. Uh, so, I think it's, that's a good thing. Uh, I've decided to leave mistakes in the way the mistakes are there, uh, simply because uh, this is a scientific vlog, and in science you're not supposed to erase mistakes in your vlog. Uh, you're supposed to keep it there and just simply make a note of it. And there were a couple. Uh, was it was uh, I think it was uh, the third clip had a double day in it. It had two it had two of the same clips in it. Uh, they also have uh, extra endings uh, because for some reason I didn't notice in the, in, that the editor had pushed the uh, ending further off, and so every time I, I uh, was doing a, did a video that was shorter than the, the original ending, uh, I added in an extra ending that which to me so it ends. There's a space, a couple minutes, and then there's another ending there. So. Uh, that, that, that's what happens. Mistakes happen. And so, I think uh, I'm going to leave this short here for now because I am going to be coming back more throughout the day because I've still got to do the explanation for Andy Spartelli on time. Uh, I've got that more or less organized and uh, I'll probably end up doing that next. So, uh, see you in the next segment of uh, the BTS vlog. I'm Booth, part of Big Bang Theory RL. All right, everybody, it's just about uh, 10 minutes to the end of my day today. Let me just adjust you here for a bit. Here we go. 
<clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm ending my day in a, in a little bit. I got up around noon, and uh, well, eleven o'clock. Well, let me give you a time and date stamp before I forget what I'm doing. It is zero hours and fifty-two minutes into the day of Saturday, March twelfth, two thousand sixteen. It was a pretty productive day. And now, because there's nothing sensitive in my computer, I can actually uh, take the camera off the tripod and show you the computer. So let's try doing this as, as a bit of an experiment to show you, show, to show you the research desk. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're off the stand. Now let's turn you around. Okay. So this is the main computer screen. They got one beside it. That's the bed. And of course, there's a TV over there with Bertelli on it. So, and then I have another machine over here as well. So, I have a number of machines that uh, get the job done. There we go. And now we're back on the tripod. You don't know how things are going to work until you try it out, but uh, I hope that goes all right. So that's a bit, that's this is the main research desk here. There's three systems. Uh, there's three systems. The uh, tablet, or sort of the fab. This is a smaller one. It's about a six between six and seven inches. Then there is the ten inch tablet here as well. <coughs> This is the 10 inch tablet. Each have different functions. So, yay for that. But I wasn't able to get to Annie's questions today. Because the, the way things sort of shaped up, that uh, uh, I wasn't able to get get that work done. Well, one thing I do, oh, excuse me, and I'll show you this more tomorrow, is I fixed up an area that that's, I've, been, I've been doing renovations now since about Christmas. I've been doing upgrading and re renovations. And so the place is kind of a mess. I was watching Cassandra uh, from Nerd Durrell uh, a couple yeah that was yesterday or the day before, and she's moving to a new house. So she always had this issue of trying to pick up her place. So she had to she had to do a, a showing for the house because she's selling the old house and moving into the new one. So uh, she had to do a showing. So she had to clean the place up, fix it up, and make it presentable for other people to sort of uh, come in and uh, and. Uh, and view the house, you know, to do a showing. So, uh, <laughs> she conquered her, uh, I guess, her uh, inhibitions to cleaning uh, with, the, with the help of her a lover of her life, Trevor. Uh, I don't know much how much of the cleaning was her or how much was, <laughs> was Trevor, uh, but in other ways, the place got clean. So I know I know that's like you know always being in renov in renovation, always being having the place kind of cluttered because uh, there's always some degree of renovation going on here uh, to upgrade to new new capacities, to new things, bring new projects in, take old projects down, and so it, there is always work going on, always work being done, and nothing is ever in a uh, settled position. So as soon as something finishes, the project finishes, another one starts up, and or, or one's being taken down, and you know th these are things that are continuously going on. So hopefully tomorrow I should be, I, I've done most of the work. I should be able to start filming in those two new areas tomorrow, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, it's, 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 it's it's been a pretty good day. I I'm kind of tired right now. Uh, it's been a almost 13, 14 hour day uh, doing the work. So 
needless to say, I am fatigued, so as soon as Bertelli finishes here, I've got it paused. Ugh. I'll go on to bed. Anyways, I will see you in tomorrow's BTS vlog. Next, uh, that's for the next segment. Assuming I don't get up in the middle of the night. Uh, I will see you in the next BT, uh, BTS uh, vlog segment. Alright, take it easy. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to the next segment of the BTS vlogs. Yay! <laughs> um, let me give time and date stamp. Then we'll get into everything else. It is, oh, excuse me. It is 15 hours and 45 minutes into the day of Saturday, March 12th, uh, 2016. Yeah, it, today is, is been a, is has been a very bizarre day. I'm not ending it actually. Uh, I'm just getting it started. Yeah, quarter to four in the afternoon. I'm just getting started. That's not when I got up though. I got up around uh, eleven, between eleven and twelve, so sometime around there. I kind of woke up around eleven, just kind of uh, uh, late and be. I just didn't do much of anything, and then around eleven thirty, twelve o'clock, I just. Went back and forth between my, between my bed and doing different things, sort of just milling around. Uh, in other words, surely, I I get in these funks every once in a while. I don't really know how to describe them. I don't know what's wrong. I just have this sense that things aren't normal. That's as far as I can I can describe it. And the day kind of meanders. It's. It just goes back and forth, back and forth between not doing anything, just sort of lying down and thinking about things, and getting up and doing something that needs to be done. And there's no, there's not really a schedule to it. It just sort of happens. And uh, I did a lot of work yesterday. Yesterday, actually, I actually got a lot of a lot of uh, cleaning work done. I did a lot more work on the kitchen, so with the uh, on the diner. Uh, so it's becoming a lot more functional. I should be able to start filming in there sometime today. I am going to be making another dish in there today, so uh, you can sort of see that. Maybe I'll film film a bit, a little bit of that. I'm going to try it with my uh, with a, the second camera here. Uh, this is going to be mostly for vlogging. I have a second better camera. I have a Nikon uh, DSLR that does a much better job in terms of the, the quality of focus, and I think I'll be using that for the shorter clips to do uh, the show. So. Uh, We'll see how things progress. We'll see how things go for the day. So I'm just now getting my day started. I got my glass of milk here, uh, and uh, uh, we'll see kind of what what kind of what progresses out of out of today. As I, I have no idea what's going to happen today. It's it, as it, I'm I don't know why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. Maybe I'm getting sick or something like that. But uh, I just feel uh, so this. Uh, I, I said, there's no way to, there's no really way, that, that's as close as, it's just a, a funk, uh, I, that's as close as I can describe it. And as I said, we'll see what happens as the day progresses, so it's taken me, to get the day started, it's taken me close to four hours to get the day start started, so. <laughs> we'll see where we go from here. Alright, see you in a bit. Well, hello everybody. Even though it's not the beginning of the day, this is the first uh, vlog of the day coming near the end. Let's see, it is uh, 23 hours and 6 minutes into the day of uh, Sunday, March uh, 13th, uh, 2016. Yeah, I got up rather early. I wasn't able to vlog. And then I was just simply out all day. Uh, I'm cleaning up in the I'm in the kitchen now, so we've got a new place to to, uh, to vlog. We're in the kitchen, and I'm doing some cleaning up after a cooking project. So uh, that's what we're doing now. Uh, I'm getting to work on um, projects for the uh, for not only the kitchen diner but for. Uh, the Kauai Tea House as well. Uh, these are new programs that will be coming on Kauai TV uh, in the next, uh, uh, how do I say, week or so. 
So I'm just finishing up from, the, from some of the cooking. And this is what happens. Sometimes you know you have to do the projects over a couple of days, uh, simply to uh, you know. There's so much work to get done that you have to sort of you know as I said before, instead of tackling the entire project all at once, you tackle it in bits and pieces. And this gives you the ability to sort of get a better handle on what needs to be done, you know. So, right now I'm just uh, taking the food from the oven. It's, it's cooled down significantly. And wrapping it up in tin foil. Then I'll incorporate it into meals over... Uh, the next few days. So that's what's going on now for parsing this out. When you do village style cooking, and that's what I'm doing here, village style cooking, where there's no real recipe, it's kind of hard to know uh, how the food is going to come out. You have a sense of smell, and that sense of smell tells you, okay, this is good or bad or uh, all right, or but your total sense is, is kind of compromised because uh, in many cases you're still experimenting with a variety of uh, different types of food, and you're not necessarily too sure. You're not necessarily too sure how things are going to go. So, so this is one type of food. Uh, that I'm making. This will be for a noodle dish or a noodle dishes. Uh, some stuff I'm not actually going to have for a while yet because uh, I'll be doing a uh, vegetarian style fast uh, over the next, uh, let's see, March, April. And so that fast isn't going to end until at least mid April. Until the Greek Easter, or we actually call it Pascha. That's when the fast is going to end. Uh, so, but this is just for an immediate pot product. But so, some of the stuff is not going to be used immediately. Some of the stuff is going to be frozen. I want to see how some of the stuff freezes, how it tastes afterwards. Uh, there are a number of sort of issues that I want to sort of test out uh, from the the standard perspective of the North American household, we have a very different lifestyle compared to the ancient people, to the old old world. And sometimes we have to sort of experiment and explore how to bring this sort of village lifestyle, which is a healthier lifestyle, uh, back into our lives again. This is sort of uh, what I'm doing here. And <laughs> bit by bit, I'll get caught up and uh, get things. Yeah, it's, it's been... A massively long day. It's been since I got up around seven o'clock in the morning. It is now uh, twenty-three hours in it. So from seven hours to three uh, to twenty-three hours. So let's do some of the math here. Uh, seven to seven in the clock in the evening is twelve hours. Seven o'clock in the evening to eleven is another four hours. So we're looking at a uh, thirteen-hour day so far. So. Uh, that's rather massive. I mean, yes, yesterday was more or less like the same thing. It was, it was a massively long day. And, uh, well, anyways, things are getting done. So I'll see you in the next segment of the BTS vlog. That would probably be just a little bit before I go to bed. i got another two, three hours worth of work to finish. And then we'll go from there. <coughs> Hello, everybody. It is time for today's last segment of the BTS vlog yeah, Big Bang Theory Rails, uh behind the scenes vlog it's been an absolutely long day and I'm probably going to do the same thing tomorrow it's going to be another long day tomorrow I don't know exactly when I'm going to wake up but when that happens oh, they'll be there anyways let me give you a time and date stamp it is 
Now, one hour and 30 minutes into the day of Monday, March 14th, 2016. Yeah, almost the middle of March. Uh, uh, kids will be starting March break. Uh, but considering that the... Uh, see, this is the thing. Yeah, I'm working long hours, but uh, there's not much of a commute. Uh, yeah, there are days where I'm not feeling well, I can easily... Just stay here in bed and do my work. Uh, just sort of uh, bring my tablet over here and away we go. And work and get done. But if you're working 9 to 5, uh, even though you're not working 12 hour days, uh, you're forced to go into work every single day. Uh, there's stupid stuff that happens at work. Because uh, <laughs> that one person who had been writ written up for uh, sexual harassment. Uh, all that happened was someone interpreted it as such. Uh, and uh, he touched the person's hand and tapped her on the shoulder to ask her something. Or to get her attention. And all of a sudden the complaint came in. Now, that's highly interpretive let's put, it, let's put it this way that that was sexual harassment but uh, the laws have become uh, very moronic most of the liberal left are, are, are of this sort of uh, let's call them brain dead minions who follow uh, their leaders like Obama uh, right into the grave they uh, they will ignore most of the uh, humanitarian crimes that, that Obama is committing. They'll ignore the wars. They'll ignore just about anything. And say, well, this is all Republican problems. This is all, you know, you know the, the rich elite, the big bankers. And they'll create these fictional villains who... These, the, these are the people who create all the problems of the world. If they weren't these people in the, in the world... Then the world would be much better, but uh, unfortunately that's not reality. And this is what I'll be sort of pointing out in my news program. That if you sit down and do some of the research, you begin to realize oh, the lie of socialism, the lie of uh, the liberal left, and see that it's not what, they, what they're saying it is. It's something completely different. And I would say something very, very... It's a very selfish outlook on the world where others are beneath you. Others are the problem. Others need to pay the price and you are you don't. And it's all about foisting your opinions, your views on other people while calling yourself open-minded. And I've gotten emails like this. How dare you call liberals intolerant? We are only intolerant, and this is within that first line. How dare you call liberals intolerant? We are only intolerant of dangerous ideas. Not dangerous people, but dangerous ideas. Ideas that they consider to be dangerous should be eliminated, and the people who hold these views should be eliminated. And if you go back into the history of socialism, this is exact. You'll, you'll see this view permeate throughout the history of socialism. You'll see this in the Soviet Union. When people were sent to the Gulag, you'll see this in Nazi Germany, who when people were sent to the prison camps for opposing the ideas or insulting the president or insulting this person, you know, the leadership. And this is what we're seeing now in, in, in Turkey. Right? Insult the uh, president of Turkey? End up in jail. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you find you found guilty of insulting the leader, you're going to go to jail. So this, this, is, this is the liberal mindset. This is the way they think. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now. Uh, I'll come to back tomorrow and we'll have more discussions. Because right now, 
my eyes are starting to close forcefully. Uh, I can't keep them open, and that means it's time to go to sleep. Alrighty, I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theorel's BTS vlog. Democratic Earth. Earth.